Sorry it's being burnt in a bit of a wind, but you can see the quantity of energy that's coming off. It's a wood gas style um, stove, so to speak, namely with a ring of holes near the top, ring of holes near the bottom. We've got a puddle of gel in the bottom there. And um, that's the kind of flame pattern. We can expect the flame heights going up, oops, going up to about, about there when it peaks. It's a bit of a wind, that's probably affecting it somewhat, but we've got quite a lot of energy coming off now. The temperature of the whole device has got up. And um, that's working quite nicely. I think I understand these things enough to be able to use it indoors. I wanted to use a tin of that type to do cooking with. So I think I've got my alcohol stove for indoor use. That's good. Uh, what else can I say? I've bought a couple of pots which I'm going to use for indoors. But I also want to have, God look at that flame pad, isn't that beautiful? I also want to have something like a bucket full of sand to hold them in. And the end result um, is going to be, there we go, gel fuel fire. And that's the fire gel over there. Contrary to what a particular video out there suggested, no hand sanitizer does not burn. And it is not a substitute for gel fuel. All right. I, unless, of course, they got different types of hand sanitizer out there in America, but somehow I doubt that. All right. It's supposed to be flammable, but in practice it isn't. Either that, or I was using it wrong, and I don't know whether that's a possibility or not. And maybe I have to experiment or understand hand sanitizer better. But the smell of that stuff burning off suggested to me that it was quite toxic. So. Standard gel fuel, with quite a lot of heat energy coming off. I'm happy with what I've got now, I've just got to make the alcohol through distillation and I've got to turn it into a gel. And I've got to work out a way of designing or making um, a liquid fuel burner as well and that will be a challenge because obviously I don't want to burn the house down and I've got to get my carbon monoxide detectors and fire blankets and fire extinguisher and all the rest of that stuff so I can do everything nice and safe. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that. Speak to you again soon. Look at those jets. It's nice, isn't it?